Easy Tigers, I hope everyone's fine and dandy. Welcome back as always. Today we have an exclusive episode where we have our CCTV in the sky and our boots on the ground examining one of the most popular ancient sites on the Maltese Island and that is the cart ruts. Some people might have heard of them, some people might not have. I personally do not believe they are cart ruts and in this video I'll be showing you why I believe this backed with my own evidence. But it's all for you to decide for yourself. I only go around collecting the nuggets and present you all the information. So it's down to you to make up your own mind. But here we go. This is what the narrative says about the cart ruts. So, Misra Ar Il Kabir, which is the Great Cave, formerly known as Clapham Junction, is a prehistoric site in Sidiwi, in the south of the island of Malta, near Dingley Cliffs. It's best known for its cart ruts, a complex network of tracks carved into the rock. The age and purpose of the tracks is uncertain with estimates of their origins ranging from the Neolithic to the medieval times and all points in between. So I don't really know. Anyway, several researchers have suggested they may have been used for different periods, perhaps even for different activities. It appears the ruts could only have been made no later than 700 BC with several examples pointing to the temple period dating 3800 to 2500 BC. So in the official narrative there's no actual evidence to prove that these are cart ruts, it's just the, it's just the fact that they look like tracks. So let's dive deep. So Guide Me Malta are actually an established news outlet and they go to write that could Malta's so-called cart ruts not be cart ruts at all? And it goes to say that the cart ruts, in a term used to describe the parallel grooves cut into the rock, are found scattered all over the Maltese islands. The original theory claims that these were made by vehicles transporting heavy cargo. However, the hypothesis is inconclusive for several reasons. It would be assumed that the so-called cart ruts, if truly made by carts passing over the same passage, should make the grooves the same depth and width all the way along the rock. However, in some places they are just a few centimetres deep and in others they are 60 centimetres deep. So same goes for the width, in some places they are 10 centimetres wide and in others they are 50 centimetres wide. So that's very interesting because if these were cart ruts they should be uniform. Now I'm going to be showing you some evidence that I've collected around Malta at various cart ruts or what they call cart ruts and I've found similar stuff in England as well and I'm going to be showing you that I believe these are services probably for water because they're always going downhill. Now I know this is going to be a touchy subject for some people but again please this is only my opinion backed by my own research and own video footage now what i find extremely striking about this complex shall we call is that it goes from a to b either uphill or downhill so it's at a slant but the most messed up thing about all this is at the bottom of it is a bloody quarry I can't believe it. When I say that, I can't believe it, you know? I mean, look at that. Like, all the ruts are going that way or coming from where all these piles of material are. You know? So I find that very striking on its own. Now, we've always said on this channel, we always say that quarries are a way to get building material and it's a way to get rid of something of significance. So you're killing a few birds with one stone. Now, if this is cart ruts, uh, explain to me why is there smaller ones going into bigger ones like this one here, look at this. You know, 
and these are definitely not uniform 100% these are not uniform there's some that you can see that go into one track on their own now the only way that would be possible if these were cart ruts is if the wheels could move in and out on their own you know they could fluctuate to, to fit the track but we don't see that and also this place is littered with these little they call them punic tombs but I'll go in and show you this is not a punic tomb Because, I mean, if this is a Punic tomb, then what was the point in having catacombs everywhere? But I digress. The video is not about that. We're talking about these lines all in the ground. And you can see that it goes downhill towards the quarry. Which is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And, and you know, another thing that I've noticed about this area is I can't believe... Like, the last time I come here was three years ago. And I can't believe how much it's deteriorated in three years. Now check this out, if these are meant to be thousands of years old, how comes in the last three years I've seen them deteriorate remarkably? But again, what do I know? But you can see these cart ruts, here you've got three going into one. So is this going down to the source or coming from the source? Is it, is it, I can only imagine it can be for water. And another thing about these cart ruts, and I'm going to call them cart ruts because that's how we identify them. Um, I've gone to other ones around uh, Malta and in Gozo, and there's a specific set that I come across in Gozo that was literally coming from a well. There was an active well about 10 metres behind the cart ruts. And I couldn't believe it, and the farmer was using the well. And, I'd, and again, the cart ruts were going downhill at an angle. So my questions are, if they were cart ruts and they were going downhill, because every cart rut seems to be going downhill, how in the world did they get pushed back up? And again, another thing you'll notice that a lot of them have a lip inside of what they call the track. So there's a little lip inside. Now we've come across this feature before on many a things. Now I go around Malta and I'm exposing that the macro structures, they have an abundant amount of building services incorporated into the structures. So what I mean by that is they have in the limestone they have channels for pipe work and cables and how do I know that? Because I've got so much evidence of this and I've got it you just need to go through my videos and you can see that I have this and one of the features that we do notice is that the pipe or cable goes in the groove or the chase mark and then a block sits on top of it to cover it up like, like it's a service and it's still a technique that we use today but look you can see part of the lip here it is phenomenal and again it's going downhill they're not never straight But I will be showing you some remarkable evidence. Look at that. Look at this. Like, and, and another thing is, they're not symmetrical. This is another thing. They're not symmetrical. Look. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing how, how, how much this has deteriorated over... Over time, over the last three years, I, I am I am in shock how much this has deteriorated over three years. Now, what are they spraying over this? What are they spraying over this for this to be like this? I'll tell you. And some of them, some of them, I can stand in, and they're as deep as my knee. I'm knee deep. Now, if carts or wheels were to go through here, they just get stuck. And again, you have strategically placed thorn uh, sort of bush. Take note of the pipe branching into the other pipes, twice the size. Now if you look at this one, this is a pipe, this is a connection actually going in to a bigger version, a bigger pipe. But you can see the lip, so some sort of block or plate would sit on that to protect the service underneath it. And you can see that that is actually teeing in or branching into a bigger pipe. So it, I can, I, I, and I come from a plumbing background, 
and I, it just screams to me like services. So I believe at this point coming to or coming from this area was a major part of some sort of system, maybe a water system or a power system using water, I'm not sure. But look at this. Look at this. There's no way a cart could ever go down here. I impossible. Impossible. Look at the size of these. These are all different sizes. All different sizes and all different heights. So this is showing me, coming from a plumbing background, that this is pipe work. And this is, look at this. This is up to my knee. Sorry about the pin, the skinny pin. <laughs> the leg. But I'm just showing you. The vehicles would get stuck here. But if you made it this far, I'll take my hat off to you. I'll take my hat off to you. Because I will step it up in a minute and I'm going to be showing you some incredible evidence that I've collected. And undeniable proof that these can't be for vehicles. No, no way. No way, Saint Jose. But I mean, look at Gabby. Look, look, look at this. Now the one on the left, the track on the left, is nowhere near as deep as the one on the right. And look. Look at this, and you've got you've got ones coming in. You've got you've got smaller ones coming into bigger ones, which is showing you that like it it it, it it's it's this it's like. Look at this. Phenomenal! It really is phenomenal. But here you've got like four four or five five little chase marks here. Look, all different levels. Look at this. Look how they branch into each other. Look at this one. Like, where's this one come from? The only way this is possible is if this is for pipe work. Look, and again, right next to it. Now imagine if, if like, imagine if the wheels slipped. The car, the car would be knackered. And this one here, like, where's this one going? And where's it come from? You can. If you see this section here, like, what's this little dead leg coming out on its own? And it isn't in parallel with any other cart rut track or, or, or chase mark it's not it's just coming off of a double on its own and going to another one like it's some sort of bypass I mean look at that look at that and now this this was just phenomenal this one look you can see the plate mark here And then you can see these are all on different levels and they're all going to the same area. And it's funny that you've got this strategically placed bush right on the way there. But imagine a cart on this, it would be absolutely drunk at a 45 degree angle. There's no way in this world wheels or tr carts or something went on here. So let me just show you the different size levels. Boom, boom. So I'm just putting the camera down so you can see how deep these go. Look at that. So that's three different sizes. Now this is a completely different size. And then the one on the right hand side was just a little little tiny groove. But look. It's just remarkable. It's remarkable. Now let's, let's have this right. If the people that control what we see and what we hear about this world and the information that we get about this world if they're actually calling these cart ruts then isn't it wise to actually realize that they're nothing to do with cart ruts because everything we've been taught is absolute backwards anyway so why would they sit there and call these cart ruts if <laughs> you know do you get what i'm saying so anyway let's just have a little look because I want to show you some bits that are just it's really striking to me and you're going to see what's uh, what's a guani what a guani so this bit here is no more than a lip and the reason that is there is because some sort of plate went over it to protect the service let me show you let me show you what I mean and, you, and, you, and you'll, you'll see so here you go this is in a part of the letter and you can see that they've created a chase mark or channel mark with a lip in it so the lip allows this slab 
or this block to sit in situ, look at that, and protect whatever's behind it. So this is what's going on at the cart ruts, just on a, it's laying down flat instead of going up a wall. But it's not, sorry, not flat, it's at an angle because obviously it looks like to me like a 35 degree angle. So it's coming from above going to below or vice versa. But here it's just going up and down the wall. But above this is where up there is actually a pool of water. So it comes down these two chase marks. So that's what's going on when we go to the cart ruts. That's what you see. So when you see a little lip there like this, you know that a slab went over that. And not only that, I've found this in so many places. I've even found this feature in England. Now, another thing you can see is that coming from above to below is these two. So this arrow, you can see that it actually goes straight into this, this mark here. So these two meet up and then continue down. Now, if you actually follow these, these don't actually... Now, follow the red dots. They're not symmetrical either. So they can't be for cart ruts. These are definitely not symmetrical. Now, another point is, look at the different heights inside of these chase marks. Completely different heights. And again, you have another lip, just like I showed you a minute ago, and when I showed you on the out, outside of the letter. But not only that, I found this in another place that I was calling a, um, how can I say it? a place that are generating power. So I was in one of the three cities, which is opposite the letter. And it's all in the limestone. And again, look at this. Now, some people, like this is actually coming from a power station. And you can see that this does actually look like cart ruts. No? Yes or no? Yes, it does. So here is the lip. And again, you know for a fact, because I've shown you, that slabs or blocks go over that to protect the service underneath. Now, you can see this big chase mark on the wall. So where the door is, the cables actually come in under the door, around the floor and up on the wall and looped back round. So this is the entrance through the door that you can see. So this is showing you that there is chase marks with slabs going over them. Just like this, this is another part I'm just showing you. So services go underneath. Now I was also in this place here which is called Cellini Catacombs. Now this one's going to knock your socks off because there's cart ruts here, but they're not actually cart ruts. These places are serving complexes. Sorry, these services are serving complexes. Now check this out. Like I wouldn't have clocked this if I wasn't a plumber. <laughs> now this one, you've got the slab, all right? You've got the slab at the top because you've got the lip, if you can see. Now, this comes down double and then goes into a single now, I was sitting there thinking, why is this doing this? And then I thought, oh my God, Eureka, Eureka. So there's a loop that comes down in, in, in like, so the, let me just get, start from scratch. This is the lip where the plate sits. So the plate sits over this to protect the service underneath, okay? Facts. Now, you've got a chase mark that is twice as thick at the top than it is at the bottom. Why is that? I'm going to show you because the flow comes in and then returns back up. But there's also a draw off point to go to the apartment. So it's the flow and return. The flow comes down and back up. So it's on a loop and then feeds the apartment. I hope this is a good enough uh, diagram to show you what is occurring here. But this is a very, very common thing in plumbing, especially when you have a source of either heating or something that's supplying other things. So it'll always come round in a loop, so you can draw off when you need it. Continuous loop, continuous loop, draw off when you need it. And that's what's going on here, and I couldn't believe it. This is sitting at the top of the catacombs. Anyway, let's go to Gozo now. Good luck. I'm not even messing around no more. Let's go to Gozo, because again, when I was in Gozo, this is gonna knock your socks off. So cart ruts, again, going up, well, sorry, going downhill again, they're always doing the same thing. And then when I was standing here, like scratching my head, trying to work out what is going on here. And again, these ain't even symmetrical, by the way. You know, look at this. And again, they're sitting at different heights inside the grooves or inside the chase marks. But my point is, I was standing here scratching my head thinking, what is going on? I mean, look at this. 
If a cart wheel was to go in here, like what would happen? It would just cause problems. But anyway, check this out. Listen to this because, we're, and, and this one's all on his own. All on his own. But I was standing there scratching my head thinking, what is going on? And all of a sudden I could hear some mad noises. Listen. Let's try to get this. So it turned out there was an active well at the top of this cart rut. And now again, check this out. This is in England. This is in England. Again, going from above to below. Now I promise you, in hand on my heart, hand on my heart, I believe these are services and I believe it's for water. Why else would this be like this? These are not symmetrical cart ruts. And then why would they have lips over them? Why do you have single ones going into double ones some of them don't even match up and it's not even symmetrical all the way through so i'll just point out a few anomalies but you should check them out yourself i mean look how much this part of the track swells like i said they have to fluctuate the wheels for that to be all right now you've got two bits going into one constantly and what's going on with this bit so again two going into one you need to pause this and have a look yourself and then you'll realize that it is not for cart ruts the, the, for this to be cart ruts, the wheels have to be able to fluctuate left and right to keep up with the tracks <laughs> swelling and, uh, 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 and unswelling, you know, inflating and deflating. And also, the wheels must have to change size by getting higher and lower because some of these go like 60 centimetres deep to, to 5 centimetres deep. It's phenomenal. And again, when tracks pass over, like some of them are not even like, they wouldn't be able to pass. It's impossible. And again, look at the size of these tracks. It's really all uneven. And one other thing I want to point out is um, this here is called a raised, raised bed. And what they do is uh, they come along and they literally build up a wall and then fill it up with mud. And then there's a new ground level. And it's called a raised bed. You see it all over Malta. All over Malta. And that's what they've done here. For some reason, slap bang in the middle of these cart ruts, they've decided to build a raised bed. And at the bottom... Of the cart ruts there seems to be a humongous quarry so some fishy stuff is going on some fishy fishy stuff is going on but you guys let me know what you think because I think I've presented enough evidence to to, to put forward a good argument that the, the cart ruts are not for wheels wheels didn't go in there because like I said hundreds of times the tracks fluctuate uh, the depth fluctuates and again, I'll stress, I find it very, very fishy, very fishy that at the end of these cart ruts, there seems to be a humongous quarry. Look at the size of that, eh? What are these cats up to? What are they up to? And and again, you can just see they've built the raised bed straight over it. Uh, seem, I, I, I was in some part of old world quarry there, which was very interesting. <laughs> very interesting little spot. So, in my opinion, I believe this was a central hub for maybe pumping water. Or, or maybe it was a power station and the water was generated, the power was generated by the water maybe. Who knows? But it is incredible. It's incredible. And again, there's so many features that I've pointed out. Like the lip is very important. The lip, because the plate goes over, which I've shown you in multiple sites along England. Anyway, guys, I hope I've opened your mind up and showed you something that hasn't been presented before. I personally believe, in my opinion, they are for services. But one more thing before I go, check this out. Guys, thanks for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure.
please, please don't cost you one single thing apart from a second of your time to like, subscribe, comment and share. And if you can support the work, one love guys, maximum respect. Tadas, tadas.